I'm here at Lover's Lookout. It's dark, it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's where hormone-driven teens love to come and fool around. So very likely, we're about to see someone get killed. Okay, sure enough, there's a girl in that car, blouse unbuttoned all alone. Let's see if she'll have a word with us. Hi, Gail Hailstorm, author of the new book, You're Next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? Well, my name's Heather. Heather, can you tell us what you're doing out here all alone? Well, yeah, sure. My boyfriend and I were just, like, making out, and then we heard a noise out there, so we went to go check it, but... Well, that was, like, ten minutes ago or so. Yeah, yeah. Heather, has it crossed your little mind that your boyfriend was probably murdered and you're about to be slaughtered next? Really? <laughs> no way! Way. Heather, good luck! <laughs> Thanks, Gail, you're the best! I know! Ah! Okay. Oh! Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Amy. The Koichi. Oh, I'm over here, Koichi. <laughs> Rohan Kishibe! Now, now, you don't have to be so defensive. My days of causing you harm are long past. Besides, after reading your history with Heaven's Door, I found myself filled with a deep sense of respect for you. I'd go so far as to say you're two peas in a pod. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> now then, I'd like to ask you a question, if I may. You see, I used to call this area around here my home, until I was four or so. I've spent the day trying to find my old residence. Nostalgia must have gotten the better of me. Recalling one's childhood is central to a manga artist's work. However, those memories belong to a four-year-old, so they're a little bit foggy. Oh. That's why I need your help. My question concerns this town map. There's something odd about it. Look, this is the soba shop, Arisgawa, Kisara Drugstore, and the Osun Convenience Store. They're situated right to left. Now, take a look at the shops themselves. From the right, you can see Ari's Gawa, Kisara Drugstore, and then... You have Osun on the far left, see? Huh? That's weird. The map doesn't show a road between Osun and the drugstore. What sloppy work! Koichi, would you tag along? I would be forever in your debt if you'd be my guide for a bit. Huh? Well, I'd like to, but the thing is... That's the response you give after I ask so politely? Fine, have it your way. I didn't realize showing me around for a few meters would be such a burden. He sure is self-centered. <sighs> I can only spare five minutes, okay, Sensei? Strange, isn't it? I'm checking my official showing press ultra detailed map of Morio, and it makes no mention of this street existing. On the bright side, since your map had an error, you might get a gift certificate at the bookstore. <sighs> Blasted, this map is absolutely useless. What a weird area. The few houses that are around here look completely unoccupied. And look, even the vending machines are out of order. Hmm? What the? It's the mailbox! We made our first turn at this corner when we came down the alleyway! <laughs> this is 
too weird. Somehow we managed to end up right back where we started. But we turned right, left, then right. Keep your guard up. There could be an enemy nearby manipulating things with their stand. <laughs> you think? If you would, have Reverb fly overhead and search the area. Yeah, of course. From up there, I can see where we need to go. Quinton! What's the matter? There was something up there. I don't know what, but something just graced Reverb. Are you sure? I didn't see anything. I know something came into contact with Reverb. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Excuse me, are you too lost? <gasps> I would be happy to be your guide. She must be the enemy stand user! Heaven's door! <laughs> and with the flick of a finger, victory is mine! We should be safe now. I've written commands in her pages, so she won't be able to harm us. Sensei, that was amazing! It's like you launched your drawing into midair! I've made quite a lot of progress with my stand. That said, it still doesn't work on haters like Josuke who wouldn't know art if it kicked him in the groin. She and I are on the same wavelength. Oh dear, she's just an ordinary girl, not an enemy. Huh? So she's not out to get us? That's right. You can't conceal anything from Heaven's Door. Her name is Remi Sugimoto, age 16. Her address is 312 Koto Daimorio. That's not far from here. She has no boyfriend, and her measurements are 82, 57, and 84 centimeters. There's a mole by her left nipple, and her first period came at age 11 in September. The first time she kissed a boy, he rammed his tongue down her throat. That's just about enough, Rohan! If this girl's not a stand user, then I refuse to allow you to read anything else about her life! All right, all right, I get it. Take it easy. I will forget everything that has just happened. There. I'd be happy to guide you. Really, this place trips a lot of people up. Several of these alleys look the same. Please point us in the right direction and we'll be on our way. Absolutely not. A simple explanation won't cut it. I'm your guide, so follow me. Want one? If you're sure, but you still have to hold on to the end. Better be careful, some girl is gonna dump you. Really? Where's your proof? Pocky fortune telling. The break tells me all about you. You are majorly self-centered. And you have a habit of pushing people's buttons, don't you? That's why you're going to get dumped. Get a load of this, Guiji. Now we know she's off her rocker. She actually thinks I'm self-centered. You're about to find out two can play at this game. Light pink nail polish means you're afraid of love. That's very telling. You often let love slip through your fingers. No way. I use psychological prodding over fortune telling. But enough about your love life. Something else is weighing on your mind. Have you heard the story about this house? It said it was the scene of a murder 15 years ago. Did she say a murder? Yes, she did. No one lives in the house now. It's empty. Here's why. This story was told to me by the old lady next door. It happened in the dead of night, while the young girl was sleeping soundly in her bedroom. She awoke to a strange dripping sound that seemed to be emanating from her parents' room, but she couldn't be sure. <laughs> The sound puzzled her. Daddy! Mommy! She called out, but she never heard a reply. However, the girl wasn't particularly scared because she was accompanied by her trusty dog. Her dog? Yes, he was a big guard dog. 
In the darkness, she'd offer her hand to him under the bed, and he'd always respond with a whimper and a lick. Arnold was her constant reassurance. But the dripping that had stolen the girl from her peaceful slumber continued for several minutes. Finally, she'd had enough. Her curiosity drove her to investigate. What happened next? She found Arnold with his throat slashed, hanging from the coat rack like an old pelt. The dripping sound was coming from him. The sound of his spilling blood. <laughs> Suddenly, she heard a voice coming from under her bed. Your hand is so sweet and tender, sweetheart. Whimper, whimper. I've already murdered your mommy and daddy. And then, he attacked the girl, killing her when she died. Tell me that story was just your way of joking around. <laughs> Sounded pretty real, didn't it? You babies, that's for the nail polish crack. <laughs> Victory will be battle fight. Fight. Jeez, my heart can't take stuff like that. Tragedy. I'm sorry your life was stolen from you. 
But that still doesn't explain things. We find the murderer so you can get closure? That all seems rather pointless, doesn't it? You'd be better off letting go of this world. Surely moving on to the next world would be a better existence than haunting these alleyways. Tell me, do you have any idea how many innocent boys and girls have gone missing from this town? No. Then you should know it's eight times the national average. <laughs> Yes, and it gets even worse. Some are being slaughtered in silence. And he's behind it all. Wait a minute! You can't be serious! This is still going on and no one's done anything?! Hey! You can't just say things like that! According to this story, you didn't even see his face! How would you know what's going on?! I know because I see the souls of his victims dominating the skies! It's as clear as day! The wounds of those souls are the same as mine! It's horrifying! That gash is so deep! I can't speak with those traveling to the other side, but I see them depart over and over. He's fueled by a twisted obsession, one I know all too well. Morio has always been my home, and for 15 years, it stood in the shadow of murder. It's terrifying, and on a personal level, it's utterly humiliating. When they finally detain that wild animal, my cherished Morio will have a new reputation. All of Japan will know it as the home of a monster. But none of that changes the fact that we have to stop him as fast as possible! These are the men from the cooking things. They look like something out of Chucky Chips. Hello, everybody. You ready to have a good time? I know I am. Cause it's pretty fast. There's pizza for kids. It's number one. Pretty fast. There's pizza where fantasy is fun. Fun not actually guaranteed. Well, let's meet the band. My name is Freddy, I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. Then I can't even tell. My guitar is blazing. I. Funny, fine name, I'm hopping along. Sloppy ears and I can't even tell. My guitar. Get your pizza by the Entertainment offers absolutely no guarantees regarding guest safety. Hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a tree. So sweet. He hangs out over in Pirate's Cove. Now he's this foxy. One eye and a hook for a hand. He hangs out over in Pirate's Cove. Now you've met all the members of the band. <laughs> Pizza for just a dollar. And if your parents really love you, they'll buy you a 32 ounce pretty fountain drink. And don't forget, all the popular kids sign up for our mailing list and get free stuff on their birthday. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, where fantasy meets fun.
The following contest is a triple threat tornado tag team match. Making his way to the ring. It doesn't London, get much better than England, this guy. Six man tag team action coming up next. Pounds, Actually, Cole, it can get better King. than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. I really hope you've taken what I've said to heart. I have nothing more to say. Well, I heard you loud and clear, and I'm shocked no one knows about this. There has to be something we can do here. <laughs> How altruistic, Koichi. This smells like trouble. Although, this vicious killer could be a good source of inspiration. It all seems like it'd make for some interesting manga. <gasps> Can we get out if we go this way? Don't buy the good guy act. It's obvious that he has ulterior motives. And when it comes to trustworthiness, the guy's shady at best. <sighs> Did you hear a word I just said? Hmm. Then we're agreed. I'll show you how to get to the exit. Huh? The exit? Where do we find it? If you go past the mailbox, you'll find it on the left. Yeah! Hey, slow down! Trust me, you don't want to rush it. There's a rule to making it through. <laughs> There's a rule? Yes. Once you make it past the mailbox, you'll see the exit about 20 meters away. No matter what happens around that corner, I need you both to promise me you'll never look behind you. Why not? What would be there? That's just the rule for passing to the next world. Even Arnold understands something as simple as that. Okay, if a dog can handle it, I guess there's no reason I wouldn't be able to. And if we do look back, what happens then? Well, putting it in layman's terms, your souls would be dragged into the next world. Put bluntly, you would die. <laughs> but don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. All you have to do is look forward. Simple, right? As we get ready to go here, Byron, I understand you've done a little research as it relates to these two teams. Believe did you feel something, Koichi? Yeah. When we passed the mailbox, something flew past our legs and went behind us. Remember, eyes front. Just stay calm and you'll be fine. You feel that, Rohan Sensei? There's some kind of ominous presence creeping up behind us. Yes, I'm aware. Something's there. I don't know what, but there's something right by my head. Just ignore it. There will always be something trying to make you look back. I know it seems scary and overwhelming, but as long as you don't look back, it can't do anything to cause you harm. There's something warm and runny oozing down my neck. Ignoring this thing's gonna be a lot tougher than you're making it sound. Almost there. Go through the light and you're home free. What? But I can't take any more of this. And it's so far away. matches are always chaotic buckle up and get ready because this one is underway we've seen some amazing six-man tag team matches in the past and i'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best no holy kick out gonna take more than that oh. right oh, torturous knee go oh, way back oh You gotta believe this one's over. Nailed it. Boom, what a close line. Boom. Oh, nasty impact. Here comes on the defensive here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competitions since the early days of sports entertainment. 
Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. These matches can also be held in a caged environment. Oh, and he reverses it. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh, my. He's not looking good here. He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. I'm not at all surprised to see him struggling a bit here. After all, the other team does feature Ooh. arguably three of WWE's most imposing figures. This match certainly isn't trending. Beautiful technique. He's looking good now, guys. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Too quick for him there. Boom! <laughs> Down! Like being manhandled by a bear. This could be it, guys. If at first you don't succeed, Nice job. Oh, kick with precision. But he's got to capitalize now. Targeting the back. Very effective. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Did you guys feel that too? Penny predicament. Elbow drop with authority. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Ooh, what impact. No, there's the reversal. Not again. Wow. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Right? The end may be near. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, boy. He is rolling. He's making a statement here with this attack. Not the all harsh impact. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, wow, I thought he was a goner. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. From behind. Face Buster! So much damage to the neck. Going for both. Beautiful technique. Game, set, match. This one is over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. your ability to see. <laughs> the alley between the convenience store and the drugstore. It disappeared. I'm just glad we're back. I'm afraid this is as far as we go. <sighs> well, at least until he's caught. When that finally happens, Arnold and I will look back and we'll be reunited with Mom and Dad. Peace and dignity must return to Moria. Only then can we find eternal rest. 
I'll be right here if you ever want to talk about anything. You two don't be strangers, okay? I'm here if you need me, little Rohan, Mr. Koichi. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for listening to my story. As these highlights show very well. <sighs> she had some nerve. Where does she get off calling me little Rohan? What an audacious ghost girl. But still, Remy Sukimoto. She has an unyielding spirit, and that's something to be respected. For 15 years, she's waged a fight for the living with nothing but her courage and trusted companion. With that way to the books, we must now move on. Raimi, age 16. I never doubted her story, but it's nice to have evidence. Ah, we have a visitor. You wouldn't happen to be Rohan Kishibe, the manga artist, would you? Oh, sorry, have we met before? Let's see. I'd say you would have been about four when it happened. It doesn't surprise me you have no recollection of that night. So, I'll start by saying your house was close to theirs. The night of the incident, your parents left home for the evening. Apparently, there was some urgent business that needed attention. Your parents and the Sugimotos were very close friends, so they left you with them while they handled matters elsewhere. <laughs> Roha, that night, the one that claimed the lives of the Sugimoto family, you were there and the only one rescued. I was... there. You were able to survive that nightmare. But once you were in police custody, you started crying and repeating this sentence. Big Sis Remy snuck me out the window and saved me. Remy risked everything to get you to safety before the murderer could find you. Now it all makes sense. No wonder she acted so familiar. And I learned something else. My heaven's door. It can't reveal my distant memories or personal fate. If you ever find yourself wandering down this alleyway, a word of warning. You should never, ever look back. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Soul of Mitsurugi. This fight's mine! swords beneath the gaze of the ancient gods. Okay, let's get this started. 
I'm telling you, I really met a ghost! The girl you saw in that picture Yeah, I get it. I already said that we believe you. Right, Okuyasu? This cutie is just my type. If only I'd been born 15 years earlier. If she's gonna stick around, we should probably meet your ghost friend too. But fair warning, Koichi. If we go to Jotaro or Mr. Joseph about all this, you can bet your ass they'll have one question for you. This unknown killer, is he using a stand on his victims? Uh, I guess. I really don't know. Well, in that case, it's up to the police and courts. What are you saying? There's a bloodthirsty murderer loose in Mario! Yeah, I know that. And I'm telling you that Jotaro and the Speedwagon Foundation aren't going after an ordinary killer no matter how twisted he is. Now take a deep breath. He's managed to avoid the police for over a decade, and they're supposed to be the best. It's not like we're gonna summon him like waving down some taxi by force of will alone. Let's stay calm and take things slowly and carefully. So, what did old Rohan have to say? He said the same thing as you, Josuke. <laughs> be careful, Koichi! You have to be alert when you cross the road! I'm sorry for the trouble. You kids need to pay attention to the wrong. Did your parents ever teach you that? Mario used to be a summer escape for samurai. I know, such an out there concept might be hard to believe. But my ancestors were among them. We were ruined during my grandfather's time. All I have left is the house that I currently live in. Oh, and my miserable little office job. Hmm? Hey, what happened to that nice imported watch I bought you? That's right, you left it in your bag. How could I forget? If I remember correctly, it was loose on you. We'll fix that tomorrow. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you being coy all of a sudden? <laughs> now, watch your step as you get out. Let's head inside. A sublime weekend is beyond those doors. It'll be our getaway. Look at this, you're dripping. Not at all becoming of a lady. I expect you to clean this up. I can't recall your name, but in the long run, does it matter? And brava, it's all clean. You should be proud of yourself. Now then, I think we should make some dinner. What's the best dish in your repertoire? get the feeling that something bad is about to happen, but you don't know what. No, I tell you, leave the blood into my boy servants. Why should I be worried when I should really be listening to some tunes? Hey, wanna listen to some tunes?